Hi everyone, it's now Mikanag from beautiful Canada, Toronto. I'm encouraging you today. How are you all keeping? Are you ready for Christmas? Christmas is around the corner and only a few more weeks for Christmas. But are we preparing for the coming as we celebrate the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ? And you know that He's coming again. And he's coming for people who are ready for him, who are, have hearts open and waiting for his return. Are you and I waiting for our Lord Jesus' return? He is coming very soon. We must be hustle and bustle, busy with our family, with our troubles, with our chaos, with all the things that go on in our life. But let's remember, our Lord Jesus is coming. Let us prepare our hearts and be ready. Today I want to read to you from Psalm 34. Psalm 34 is a beautiful psalm and I love that psalm. Let's read it with me today. It says, Do not fret because of those who are evil or be envious of those who do wrong. For like the grass, they will soon wither. Like green plants, they will soon die away. If you look around me, many of the plants have withered and died and have become orange or brown or leaves have fallen and we know that the lord jesus says the evil people who might trap us and do things uh, for us they are like grass that they would wither the enemy is defeated and he is a defeated foe Trust in the Lord and do good, my brother and sister. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. I remember memorizing this verse when I was a young person, remembering myself that God will give the desires of my heart if I trust in him, if I give him the first place, if I delight in him. And today I am 45 and I can still say that if I delight in the Lord Jesus, he will give me the desires of my heart. He will be with me. And says, commit your ways to the Lord. Trust in him and he will do this. He will make your righteous reward shine like the dawn, your vindication like the noonday sun. Commit your ways today, my brother and sister. What are your ways? What are the parts that you are hoping to take all, all your days? Commit everything to him. He will make straight your path and he will make your righteousness reward shine like the dawn have you seen the dawn the beautiful dawn god will make you and i shine like the dawn be still before the lord and wait patiently for him do not fret when people succeed in their ways when they carry out their wicked scheme wait patiently the enemy might send arrows darts at us and we might feel defeated but wait patiently for the God, for our Lord Jesus to act. Refrain from anger and turn from wrath. Do not fret, it leads only to evil. For those who are evil will be destroyed, but those who hope in the Lord will inherit the land. You and I will inherit the land, the promised land, if we trust in Him, if we refrain from evil, from being angry. A little while and the wicked will be no more. Though you look for them, they will not be found. But the meek will inherit the land and enjoy peace and prosperity. You might look for the enemy. Enemy is defeated. You might find the wicked one no more. You will inherit the promised land and you will rejoice and you will enjoy it. It says, the wicked plot against the righteous and gnash their teeth at them. But the Lord loves at the wicked for he knows their day is coming. You and I, we know that the enemy is defeated for, and the day is coming where he will be destroyed, where he will be defeated. And the verse that I really want to talk to you about was today, uh, verse, let me see, verse 23 to 24. And it says, The Lord makes firm steps of the one who delights in him. Though he may stumble, he will not fall, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. Today, my brother and sister, our Lord Jesus is telling you and I, he will make firm our steps. We might feel that we are going through slip slippery slides, we are not going through firm foundation, but God will be our firm foundation. He will make our 
his steps firm. And those who delight in him, though he may stumble, he will not fall. Maybe you might feel like you're stumbling, but you will not fall. The Lord will uphold him with his hand. The Lord Jesus himself will uphold you and I with his hand. This is the promise that you and I have today. My brother and sister, those who trust in him, those who believe in him, those who put our hope in him, we know that we will never stumble. We will not fall. The enemy will wither and there would be no more. Be still today and see the deliverance that our God has for you and me today. Let's pray. Father God, we come to you this beautiful Friday. Lord, we thank you for this Friday. Thank you, Lord, that you are with us. Thank you that you are our healer, you are our protector, you are our shield, you are our foundation, that we will not slip nor fall. We will not stumble. Lord, we would not fail. For you are with us, holding our right hand, telling us, do not be afraid, do not fret, your enemy is defeated. So Lord, we trust in that word and we sing to you, we glorify you, we magnify you today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I hope this blessed you, my brother and sister. I'm thinking of singing some Christmas songs as Christmas is coming very, very, very soon. I just want to sing this joy to the world. Feel we, feel we comes a way of singing and it's beautiful. Let's sing together. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let us receive a king. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing. Let heaven and nature sing. Sing, sing. Joy to the world. We will sing, sing, sing. Joy to the world, our Savior reigns. Let him his employ. While fields and floods, rock fields and plains, repeat the sound in joy, repeat the sound in joy. Repeat, repeat the sound in joy. We will sing, sing, sing. Joy to the world. We will sing, sing, sing. He rules the world with truth and grace and makes the nations prove the wonders of His righteousness and wonders of His love and wonders of His love and wonders, wonders of His love. Sing, sing. Go to the world. My brother and sister, I hope this blessed you. And I hope that you will Make room today in your heart, make room in your home, make room in your community, make room everywhere you go to talk to others about Christ and share the love of Christ with one another. And as Psalms 37 we read, let us remember our steps will be firm. And even though we might feel slippery and we might feel that we might fall, God 
promises us that he will protect us and form our steps that we will not fall. We will not fail. God is with us. God is righteous. He is so good. Yesterday, we had a um, director of our department send applause to everyone who was the top um, volunteers in our department. And I was one of them, and I was so glad to get that nomination of one of the top volunteers in our department. So whatever you do, maybe in your companies, maybe in your workplaces, maybe wherever you are working, wherever you might be, maybe you are a grandma, maybe you are a stay at home mom wherever you are do things for the kingdom of god and may people see the love of christ in you in everything you do i hope this blessed you today my brother and sister i uh, hope that you have a wonderful weekend if you are in toronto join our bible study group we'll be studying today second corinthians chapter 11 and we will be studying about um uh, false uh, people who have false doctrines and how Paul encourages people in Corinth and encourages us today as well to watch and know and to uh, learn from the word of God and watch out because in the end there will be so many people who would claim to uh, speak about Jesus but they would not be speaking about Jesus but they would be talking about themselves or boasting about themselves so we would learn today in 2nd Corinthians chapter 11 how to watch out for the false uh, people who false doctrines and to learn from the Word of God may you remain in the Word of God may you trust in him may you depend on him today whatever you do in the weekend whatever you do to tonight may you trust in him depend on him today have a a wonderful friday happy friday and may god bless you god bless you share this message with your friends and your loved ones encourage one another i hope that you would have some time today to hear the word of god and listen to the word of god and be encouraged he is all we need he's all we have and that is why we celebrate Christmas. That is why we remember his cross, his resurrection, and his coming again to you and me today, very soon. Soon and very soon, we will see the mighty King calling our names and raising up to heaven. Till that day, we will be faithful. We will be running this race and glorifying him. He is with us. Emmanuel is in the midst.